the format of the robot. I need to vent this story out. This isn't some ghost story, or some story about something I got at a garage sale suddenly dripping blood, or anything like that. Just a series of strange events that might be coincidence, but if it is just coincidence, boy there's a whole lot of coincidences. Okay, before I get started, I may as well introduce myself. My name is Sarah, and I currently live in Attica, Wyoming, although I grew up in Hyde Park, New York. If you've ever seen Nelvana's Care Bears Family series, you probably remember the wizard No Heart. While most people think of how ridiculously upbeat and cheerful the show was, I remember how No Heart seemed, well, evil, in a frightening way. I know he was a bit cliché, stating he wanted to take over the world at one point, and bragging about his evilness at another, there were other aspects to him. Do you remember the episode, Birthday Bears Blues? In it, No Heart had become infuriated, after the Care Bears laughed at him, after he failed to kidnap a Care Bear and a Care Bear cousin. I only remember Gentle Heart Lamb was one of the Care Bears in the attempted kidnapping. He then concocted a plan to trap the Care Bears in a maze, where they would be separated and he could take them down one by one. Once they were trapped in the maze, he turned into a tiger, and then hunted them down. Eventually he came across Gentle Heart Lamb, and said that he would be having lamb chops. I didn't realize until a couple days later what he meant. No Heart had planned on eating them in order to get his revenge. I found this strange, since it was supposed to be a kid's show. Then again, half the Disney villains died in gruesome ways, and, heck, sometimes parents were killed off in those movies. But still, this was a bit out of place considering the rest of the show's tone. While walking to home from school one day, I saw a white tiger striped cat chewing on a dead mouse. Of course, being a little kid, and seeing a cute kitty cat, I went up to pet it. When I was about one foot away, it turned its head toward me. Although its eyes visually looked like normal cat eyes, there was something off about them. However, the cat walked up to me, and I petted it. It then proceeded to follow me home, to my childish delight. My parents said we were just keeping it around, until someone claimed it, but no one ever did, so we kept it. I named him Woody. Woody acted like a normal cat for the most part, but he seemed to understand every word I said. One day, I received a plush gentle heart lamb after begging my dad for it at the store. Later, when I got home from school, I found Woody had torn it to shreds, and even eaten a bit. I scolded him, since he already knew better than to chew on our stuff. He had been a very well-behaved cat up until then. I then went to watch Care Bears. A rerun of Birthday Bears Blues was playing. I froze, and gazed over at Woody, who heard when no heart approached Gentle Heart Lamb. I told Woody to stop creeping me out, prompting Woody to meow innocently, and begin rubbing against my hand. He always did try to butter me up, the sneaky little thing. I settled for turning off the TV, and went to my room to do homework. Woody, followed me, like he usually did, and that was the end of it for a while. Later, I was painting with my sister, when Woody knocked over the purple paint and began to roll in it. Again, I scolded him. I took him inside to wash him, which prompted him to begin howling and struggling. He seemed very upset when I washed his fur coat off. During the next week, he ignored me, and hissed at me at one point. Apparently, my weird cat had really wanted to be purple. Eventually, I had enough. I had a color and curl candy toy that I almost never played with, so there was plenty of purple hair dye left with the set. I then proceeded to dye my crazy cat's fur purple. So now he was a purple tiger striped cat. I got in trouble with my parents later, but when I tried to explain the purple paint incident to them, they didn't believe me. They tried to wash the dye out of the cat's fur, but it wouldn't come out. Apparently the advertisements were wrong, it didn't wash out easily. Woody was a lot happier with me after that, but still acted strange. One night, I couldn't sleep, even though I laid there in bed all night, and I started to get up to go to the bathroom downstairs. When I got to the top of the stairs, I stopped. I could hear a male voice coming from downstairs. I couldn't recognize the voice, although it did sound familiar. I also couldn't make out what he was saying. 
I was afraid to scream in case I caught his attention, and my parents' bedroom was in the basement, so I couldn't tell them either. Eventually, the voice stopped, and I thought he had left, so I went downstairs. Then I saw him, standing there. He turned to me, and I froze. It was too dark to make out his features, but I could tell he was tall, had long nails, and his eyes seemed strange. He was wearing what I thought was a dress, but then I realized it was a robe. He then suddenly screamed in anguish. When I looked down, Wiggy was scratching his leg until it was bloody. My dad then came upstairs with his small pistol, and shot the man, killing him. Apparently he was from an asylum, after claiming to be after a wizard, who had taken the form of a cat. Naturally, no one believed him, but Wiggy disappeared after that night, and we couldn't find him anywhere. I was devastated, having lost my cat. The reason I'm telling you this is because, recently, I met a man dressed up as no heart at a costume party. He had purple hair, he was holding a torn gentle heart lamb stuffed animal, and his name was Wiggins. Like I said, this could be a series of Care Bear fiend coincidences.